You're listening to the European Parliamentary Research Service podcast on measuring on-road air pollution from cars. Air pollution kills and drains the EU economy. The European Commission wants to introduce tests that better reflect real on-road emissions, but it is likely to run into serious opposition from MEPs who say the rules are too soft on car makers. Stay with us to find out more. Emissions of nitrogen oxide and particulate matter, also known as fine dust, kill every year more than 470,000 European citizens, and the total health-related bill of air pollution in the EU ranges from 330 to 940 billion euros per year. That's far from a small amount of money. So even if transport is just one of the many sources of air pollution, and even if emissions of air pollutants from transport have fallen steadily in recent decades, current levels are still too dangerous for our health and the environment. The problem, as highlighted by the recent Volkswagen affair, is that laboratory tests do not really reflect the amount of air pollution emitted when the car is driven by a real driver on a real road. In 2013, the European Commission's Joint Research Centre had already pointed out that diesel cars emitted two to five five times more nitrogen oxides on real driving conditions than when tested under laboratory conditions. To remedy this problem, the European Commission and Member States want to measure emissions on the road. To reflect the fact that the new testing method is much more stringent than the one used until now, a correction factor would be introduced. Car manufacturers would need to gradually reduce the gap between type approval and on-road emissions in two steps. From September 2017, the correction factor for new models would be set at 2.1, meaning cars would be allowed to emit more than twice official pollution limits. In a second phase from 2020 onwards, the correction factor would be lowered to 1.5, meaning cars would be allowed to emit 50% more than the official limits. The European Parliament's Environment Committee has already rejected the EU's emissions testing deal, arguing it is too permissive. If this opinion is shared by the January 2016 plenary, the European Commission would have no choice but to draw up a new proposal. We'll be watching the vote closely. You're listening to European Parliamentary Research Service podcasts.